Hi guys, welcome back to the 12 days of foundation day number two. If you missed day number one, it will of course be linked down below. Today we are chatting about a new foundation from a brand I've actually haven't really played that much with. It's the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I have the concealer as well. As always, there will be timestamps down below if you'd like to skip ahead. We're doing before and after, application, flash photo test, midday check-in in natural light, and then of course a check-in at the end of the day. But let's go ahead and get started. So this foundation in Canada retails for $60 and $47 in the United States. In Canada, it's available at Shoppers Drug Mart and at Hudson's Bay, and in the US, it is actually sold through Sephora. You'll notice if you compare, <laughs> on the American website, it lists itself as having an SPF of 30, and on the Canadian websites, it does not list itself as having the SPF, but, um, the ingredients seem to be the same. So in Canada, the rules are much different around SPF claims. So for example, like the NARS Pure Radiant that it has SPF in it in the United States, in Canada has the exact same ingredients, but doesn't claim the SPF just because they can't, I guess, with Health Canada or whoever it is. So it says that it's a liquid foundation. It has medium coverage with a natural finish. It's supposed to be very, very long lasting, supposed to hold up against sweat uh, and just your whole day essentially. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. I'm wearing the shade 410 sunstone when I was in store I picked mine up at Hudson's Bay but when I was in store um, I was looking at the next shade up which is either 420 or 430 which is a very similar shade but just a little more yellowy golden and I've since realized that I'm a little more like golden peach so I tend to go towards more neutral ish foundations than the super yellow ones I was going for before uh, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and prime this half of my face and we will get into application so I've taken out two pumps on my hand to apply it and we'll see where that gets us. Um, this foundation says it's like self refreshing. It sinks to your skin tone and your skin uh, kind of texture and is really supposed to adapt based on your personal um, skin needs. Now I can't totally attest to this, but I have been wearing this quite a bit. It is not a first impression. So I do have a good idea on how I feel about it. I'm using a sponge today. Sponge is generally my preference with foundations. I've been mixing it up a little bit lately, but I like a sponge with this one and I feel like this shade match is quite good. And it is really, um, really beautiful. I haven't tried much in terms of Shiseido makeup. Like I have only tried their um, luxury cotton facial pads or whatever those are. Those are fabulous. <laughs> it was the kind of thing that I was like, you know, how good can a cotton pad be? You know, I buy all my cotton pads from the dollar store. I'm like, it's a freaking cotton pad. But then I started trying those out and I was like, oh, it is quite nice. So I do, I do really like those. I like the Quo ones as well. Um, so I pick those up every now and then when I'm feeling, feeling fancy. But yeah, I think I'm happy with with two pumps. I think you can see it does give a really beautiful medium coverage. I gotta say, I really like the way that this looks on, on my skin. I have been wearing it a lot lately, both to film and out in general life. And I feel like the shade match is quite good. I'm interested to see as I lose a little bit of color over the winter time, if it will still match me because I do have more color than normal. But I think this looks really good. And this was barely any product either. Like I pumped out two pumps under my hand, but the pumps are quite small. And I think that's important to note because if I'm like, it's super full coverage and I put like seven pumps on my face versus like I put a one pump on and I'm like, oh, you don't get any coverage. So I wanted to let you know that I do have two pumps on my face. Uh, and I really, really like the way that this looks. So I'm gonna go ahead. Oh no, I actually have the concealer to put on. So <laughs> let's put on the concealer. Uh, so the concealer comes in less shades than um, the foundation and it looks like in Canada we get less shades of the concealer than in the United States it seems like it anyways based on their websites so they have two different sync I think there's a couple different synchro skins out there so be mindful of that because when I bought this she actually gave me the wrong concealer I had to go back in and exchange it so there's one that's a gel concealer I think and it comes in like a like a tube but this one is like more of a liquid concealer and what is the official name on this guy this is so this is yeah so this is the exact same it's the self-refreshing concealer and i have mine in the shade well it's so small 303 medium and then the shade above looked like it could have been good too if you're able to get in store that's always best and this was 35 dollars canadian and on the sephora website for the us it is 30. 
So this concealer has similar claims to the foundation. It says it's medium to full coverage, uh, and then it, you know, is also oil-free, waterproof, smudge-proof. And it has kind of an interesting applicator on it. It's kind of like this hourglass applicator, which I find really comfortable. I wasn't sure like really what the benefit was, but it really does glide on very, very nicely. So I'm just going to pat this out under my eyes. I like the shade of this concealer. It's, um, it's yellowish, but kind of goldeny yellow. It's not too bright under the eyes. Let me know your other favorite Shiseido makeup if you've tried other things from them. When I was at the counter, there was like a highlighter that looked gorgeous. The powders looked quite luxe as well, but I actually picked it up because so many of you had requested it when I was asking you what you wanted to see. And I didn't have much experience with the brand and not that $60 is cheap for a foundation at all, but I was kind of expecting it to be more. So that was kind of nice. So now that I have the concealer on, I think you can see I got really good coverage out of this and I did not even put that much on my face and I never encourage you to put like a ton of makeup, <laughs> a ton of like foundation on your face because it can just start to feel and look heavy, but I feel like you could get this not uh, like a super full coverage, but it's medium, but like a hefty medium uh, if you want to put like a little more on your face or even set it with a powder foundation. I think it gives a really like flawless medium coverage if that makes sense because like I've got a couple of breakouts here and I feel like it did a good job just smoothing everything out everything looks even but nothing looks or feels heavy or cakey um I set will set this foundation I set everything pretty much but if you leave it long enough you may be able to get away with it it does still have a little bit of tackiness to it and a little bit of sheen but I think it looks really really beautiful so I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup just a very minimal look uh, and I will be right back okay so I have the rest of my makeup on and I love the way this looks like I said this is by no means a first impression I've been wearing this a ton and I know that I love this kind of like flawless look that it gives without looking or feeling too heavy and you can still like see my skin underneath but it just looks so good it's really really an interesting and beautiful formula so um i'm not surprised i have a little bit of sheen to my skin i think that you can see uh but I, but I like the way that looks as long as it doesn't get like too out of control oily. As for photos, I thought it looked really good uh, here in my lighting, but you can see there's a lot of shine on my face, especially there on my forehead. And then in my like extreme flash photo test, if you ever take photos in a completely dark room, uh, I am wearing the both the foundation and concealer for these photos. And I thought it looked good, especially considering there's an SPF in there. Uh, there's no like major white cast or anything like that. And as I've said many times, I rarely take uh, flash photos <laughs> in the nighttime, but always helpful to see just in case. But I feel like a lot of people have very different experiences too. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh, I had no flashback. And people are like, I had horrible flashback. Or I'll say, I had flashback. And people are like, I don't have flashback. So it's always going to depend as well on everything else that you have on your face will uh, play a role in that too. So that's why I always do my flash photo tests with just the foundation and concealer. And I never wear an SPF on days that I review foundations. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead about my day and I will check back with you midway through in some natural light. Hello, coming to you with my midday check-in. I put this foundation on probably just after nine. It's now just after one o'clock and I'm about to head out the door, but I think things look really good. It was starting to feel, I could feel my oil starting to come through a little bit earlier, but it seems to have like kind of settled into my face and I don't feel the need to blot. Uh, it still feels really good and looks really, really good. I'm actually heading out to a meeting and then uh, I'm actually gonna be filming something while there and uh, the fact that I feel comfortable enough to film with this foundation <laughs> after wearing it for a few hours I think speaks volume. So I'm going to continue to wear this. If you're wondering what's on my lips, it is one of Revlon's new matte lipsticks, but it's in one of my old favorite colors, Black Cherry. So they'll, they'll be launching at the drugstore in January, but they may be showing up sooner than later because drugstore launches are like that. But anyways, uh, here is how everything looks and I will see you at the end of the day. Heard that but uh, 
just tried to catch cat vomit before I hit my bed and I was able to get there in time. I had like a napkin held under Emily's mouth and it freaking projectile and I just washed all the bed sheets yesterday because someone threw up on the bed while we were out. Anyways, that's not why you're here. We are here to talk about the Shiseido Synchro Skin. <laughs> um, but I really love this foundation. I mean, I've worn this a bunch. Uh, so I know that I really like this. This is something that I actually think I'm going to be... Because like, I own a lot of foundations, right? I'm going to blot a little bit. I'm a little bit shiny. Um, I own a lot of foundations. So to feel like I'm going to incorporate something into my everyday is big, right? Because there's things that I really, really like that I don't necessarily reach for all the time they can still have a great formula great price great shade match whatever it may be but i really love this i love the way it looks i love the way it feels i love the way it wears and although i am a little bit shiny uh it doesn't feel uncomfortable it still looks really good i'm going to an engagement party this evening actually so sorry i thought it was happening again <laughs> uh so i'm just gonna like you know kind of touch up a little bit and head back out and i've had this on since 9 a.m this morning so i think that speaks to how much i really really like it i love the concealer too and i think it's a beautiful foundation if you've got the 60 bucks to spend and you are curious about it i really do enjoy it uh, i don't think that like i did have some oils and stuff come through which to me is not a big deal as long as things don't like start to feel uncomfortable or look oily i did get some transfer in this today on my jacket which i thought was interesting because i've worn this a bunch before with that jacket and never noticed the transfer before but in my opinion nothing is 100 percent transfer proof and it also depends on things like your primer or your powder or your blush or bronzer whatever it may be but i really really love this i love the way it looks um in person in photograph i think it's something that i could wear like I've worn it on like an everyday I've worn it out to an event and I think it's really really a beautiful foundation so a great first foray into Shiseido makeup for me so let me know if you have tried this what you think about it are you planning on trying it because I would say next to the Colourpop foundation I think this was probably the next high, most highly requested so hopefully you found this helpful uh, maybe you were hoping I wouldn't like it so you wouldn't have to go spend the 60 bucks but uh, I do I do really enjoy this so thank you so much for watching if you'd like to connect with me you can find me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook at Samantha Jane YT and I'll see you guys next time bye